Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I got for you another airdrop and essentially we're going to talk about Fuel Network. So quickly about Fuel Network, which is the fastest module execution layer. And if you scroll down below, you can basically see the investors and supporters like Blockchain Capital, CoinFind, so and so on. So I think the airdrop is very likely to happen in 2024. So let's dive in straight to the content. So first, you want to follow the Twitter account and also you want to join to the Discord server. So step number two, you will need to install Fuel Wallet. And to do that, you'll need to go to this website of course you can find the link down below once you're gonna click on this button install fewer wallet it's gonna bring you up to the google web store it depends what browser do you use and then basically click install and add it to your browser so now when you install your wallet you'll need to create new wallet next up you'll need to write down your secret recovery phrase somewhere on a piece of paper and then click confirm the phrase then paste your seed phrase and click your password so now set up some strong password and click finish the setup and last final step you want to click on the puzzle icon and you want to pin your fuel wallets to the extensions bar so now once our wallet is installed you want to click on the extension and now as you can see we have the balance you can also send receive but we don't have anything in the wallet so you want to click on the faucet button so click on it your wallet is going to be pasted in there already so then you'll need to just click on the i'm not the robot and then click give me the ether so the next step you want to use this sway swap protocol so to do that um the link will be down below of course so click on the connect your wallet to the website so your fuel wallet is going to pop up and you basically just connect it to the website then you will need to add your assets so click on this button and now we're going to have your assets so we're going to have s ether die and s if uh, slash die so add assets and then click on mint your assets so that's the testnet tokens that we were going to request from this website and then just approve and agree to everything what you have in here so click on the approve button and once you've done that just tick the box and click on this button so now we have s ether and we want to do some swaps 0.1 ether to die so once it's going to load then click on the swap button and then you want to confirm this in your wallet so click on the approve button and try to do at least five to ten different swaps because you're testing the bandwidth and this is also going to help the project to develop once you did that and you made a couple swaps you want to click on the pool section and then you want to add liquidity so click on this button and then we can add for example like 0.1 as ether and it's going to load the equivalent value of the die tokens click on add liquidity and then confirm your transactions in your your wallet next up you want to go to sway land and this is another protocol from sway so connect the wallet there and you want to use the fuel wallet so your wallet is going to pop up just click next button and connect to the website so now as you can see we have all of these assets from our wallet so we have only ether so we're going to click on the plus button and then you want to be on the deposit section and then in here let's deposit point 35 and we're going to click on the supply button so click on the approve button in your wallet now you want to go to faucet so once you're going to go to faucet you can mint all of these tokens so let's do that you can click mint on bitcoin and just add the assets to your wallet and then basically just approve it and you want to do it for all of these tokens that you can see in here so now go back to your dashboard and in here we have quite a lot of different assets so we can do that so click on the sway for example plus button and then you want to deposit it so just add the supply that we want to add to the protocol and click approve and follow the steps for all of these tokens that you have in your wallet so now you deposited your asset so if you go to the borrow section and borrow usdc you click on that you can see you have your available uh, balance that you can borrow so let's do 200 and click on the borrow it doesn't really matter what you're going to do in here because that's all testnet so you can do wherever you want with this application and then once you borrow your assets you can repay your usdc so click on this button to test this feature and then use 200 dollars so click on repay and confirm this in your wallet so the next step you want to try different features of the wallet whether they are working properly so you can go to this website of course you can find a link down below so in this connecting section we have different options we can connect to this script and check whether the wallet um, is popping up whether it's working so we can do that once you're going to click on the connect button your wallet is going to pop up and then you just need to test it out next up you can try this event so click on the connect button and just connect your wallet again and once you did that you can go to accounts and you can click on get the account section and we're going to get the account so that worked then you want to scroll down below and you want to get current account so that worked as well so then you want to go to the assets and then you want to test the transfer asset function then you want to test the get assets from your wallet so click on this uh, button and you can see we have all of these tokens from our wallet and then you want to test the adding custom assets so click add asset your wallet is going to pop up and you want to add the bitcoin image to your wallet so next up you want to go to networks and you want to click get network you can see we have this green dot and next up you want to go to signing a message and you want to just check whether the message is working so you can just um, click on the sign button 
and your wallet is going to pop up and click on the sign now this worked and then you want to go to wallet connection so click connect and then disconnect so the next step you want to test different protocols so one of this protocol is thunder and thunder is the nft marketplace built on fuel network so in here you can go and connect your wallet so click on this wallet icon and then once you're going to see this fuel wallet click on the connect button your wallet is going to pop up click on the next and then connect to the website so now you can see you have different options like my profile offers activity so they've been developing this protocol for a while what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy some nfts so let's for example click on beans so we can select for example this bean so let's click on it and click buy now then your wallet is going to pop up just approve the transaction so now the transaction is completed so you can click on the done button and then if you're gonna go back to your profile you will see that you have this bean in your wallet click on this bean and we're gonna list our nft so let's list it for like let's say seven days and then we're gonna give it a price so we're gonna say 0.6 and then you want to confirm the listing so your wallet is going to pop up one more time so you have to wait for the approval and now approve the transaction and then click done so just a tip if you go to any collections like azuki and you list it from low to high when you see something like 0.07 and this nft is still there that means that you cannot buy it because someone bought it already but this nft is somehow frozen so you can see it on the first place you have to try a second third or you can scroll down and try some different nfts